The priesthood has endured many spiritual attacks, as prophesied by Our Lady of Good Success. Want to know what she said? Stick around. Hello and welcome back to America Needs Fatima. I'm Nick Breidigam, and be sure to click subscribe and also to click the notification bell to never miss out on another story of Mary. In this video, we're going to analyze the apparition of Our Lady of Good Success and her words regarding the clergy. And we're going to talk about how Our Lady's words can help us better assist our priests and clergymen in the fight against the devil. First, a bit of history on this locally approved Marian apparition from Ecuador. A Spanish nun by the name of Mother Mariana de Jesus Torres of the Conceptionist Order received apparitions of Our Lady from February 2nd, 1594 until February 2nd, 1634. That's 40 years in the capital of Ecuador, Quito. She told her that she is the mother of good success and queen of heaven and earth. She came down to Mariana to still her heart. She showed her that God is pleased with the prayers and acts of penance that she has done, which of course the devil hates. Mary even placed the infant Jesus in Mariana's arms. And in that simple act, she received all the strength that she needed. In fact, during these apparitions, and there were many, Our Lady prophesied many things we see or have seen occur in the 21st century. Then Mary asked for a statue to be created according to the way Mariana had seen her. In fact, Mary asked to be measured exactly using a cord around the mother of God's waist. Even Mariana was unsure of, the, of this apparition's validity. I think after that, we would all be in a state of wonder and awe. Now, the words good success in English can give the impression of material success, but its original Spanish connotation refers more to Mary's intercession in times of personal need. But now on to what she said about the prophecies against the priesthood, in which Our Lady told Mother Mariana that in the 20th century. Unbridled passions will give way to a total corruption of customs because Satan will reign through the Masonic sex, targeting the children in particular to ensure general corruption. This is the warning to all of us of what Satan would try to do to the priesthood. We also hear that secular education will contribute to a scarcity of priestly and religious vocations. Have we not seen that too? Next, and I'm quoting here, religious communities will remain to sustain the church and work with courage for the salvation of souls. The secular clergy will fall far short of what is expected of them because they will not pursue their sacred duty losing the divine compass, they will stray f far from the way of priestly ministry mapped out for them by God and will become devoted to money, seeking it too earnestly, close quote. Wow, right? Have we not seen that? And it is continued with the truth that, quote, the devil will work to persecute the ministers of the Lord in every way working with baneful cunning to destroy the spirit of their vocation and corrupting many, those who will thus scandalize the Christian flock, will bring upon them, bring upon all priests, the hatred of bad Christians and the enemies of the one holy Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church." Close quote. You know, Mary also says to this that, we must pray constantly and implore tirelessly and weep bitter tears in the, in the seclusion of your heart, beseeching the Eucharistic heart of my most holy son to take pity 
on his ministers and to end as soon as possible these unhappy times by sending to his church the prelate who shall restore the spirit of her priests. Close quote. These are Our Lady's requests, but you know, I would even call them commands. Because they are commanded. These are the prophecies from our Holy Mother of God on her beloved priests. So we need to pray for our priests and do our part in offering reparation and penance for those who offend our Lord. We must follow Our Lady's commands and assist our priests with our prayers during the Mass and throughout the day. You and I can promise to do that right now. And let us pray the Rosary. We here at America Needs Fatima are spreading Our Lady's message of the Rosary through public Rosary campaigns, and we want you to join us. Check out the link below to get your free Rosary Rally kit. In the next episode, we will be talking about Fatima and the season of Advent. That's right, Advent is here. Thanks for watching. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. Until next time, I'm Nick Brightigam.